Hi, welcome to Easy Engineering. Today we're going to talk about ear knives. An ear knife replaces basically drilled pipe, pipe with holes used for blow off or for cooling. It can replace rows of tubes or nozzles on the end of a pipe or sorry, along a pipe or uh, on a manifold. Air knives reduce noise levels dramatically and they can save anywhere from 10% to 90% of energy used if you're using compressed air. The other nice thing about an air knife, and I have two in my hand, is you get, from a good air knife, continuous even flow all the way along the edge, which has its advantages in blow off and cooling. There's two types of styles of air knives, two different styles. The older style, which has been around for a very long time, is this one here, where the compressed air comes out of the air knife, bends 90 degrees over a series of angles called a coanda angle, and amplifies the airflow by entraining the compressed or by entraining the air from the atmosphere with the compressed air coming out of the air knife. The newer versions have the air coming out straight with special angles to allow entrainment of the atmospheric air with the compressed air again amplifying airflow. The nice thing about the newer versions, of which most of the cells are in these versions these days, is their efficiency and they're even more quiet than the standard type of air knife. Uh, you can get about 25% greater force per CFM consumption with the newer style air knives. Now, they look simple. An air knife looks fairly simple. It's, it's a couple pieces, it's a cap, it's a body with a shim in between separating the two pieces to maintain the gap where the compressed air comes out. But try to imagine this thing being made. It's not that easy. You have to have some very, very tight tolerances to maintain an even gap and have even flow all the way along that edge. And this is only a 12 inch one that I have in my hand. Imagine one that's two feet long or longer because we can make them and other people make them that long and longer. So tolerance is very, very important. Not everybody can do that. Material is very important in making an air knife. Uh, most air knives are manufactured in aluminum. They also make them in stainless steel uh, for high temperature and food and pharmaceutical applications. But most of them are made in aluminum. If the aluminum is not anodized, they don't look very good after a little while in a factory environment. That material of that aluminum is gonna, gonna look pretty bad. So if it's anodized, it's much better. But when you anodize, you're gonna be very aware of those tolerances again because you're adding a layer to that machining. So if you can get an air knife with even flow and maintain those tolerances and have a nice flat surface over long lengths, you've got a much, much better air knife. Not too many companies can do that, okay? But it can be done. So an aluminum air knife that's anodized is much, much better. So you check, for, but check for that even flow. It should have even flow all along its life. So material is important and even flow is important when you're considering an air knife. In the next um, Easy Engineering, we're going to go over how to use the air knife and some of the guidelines in using the, uh, using the air knives.